Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. This is all about spell check, but a whole lot more. All right, trying to make titles and make sure you spell everybody's name correctly ain't always easy. We now have the ability to check spelling in Premiere Pro, but there's a lot more. So there's a new text panel. So I'm going to show you the text panel in the Essential Graphics workspace and in editing, where I think it's going to be faster for me to do this. All right, so here I've got a timeline with a bunch of uh, titles that were made up. And each one of them has uh, not only an animation here, but it also has a name. And also, I created the same thing as an After Effects title. So this is a motion graphics template from Motion Array, and it comes in as an After Effects file. But let's, we'll get back to that in a, in a bit. Now, if you're used to double clicking on this to open up the essential graphics, that's one way to get it, or go to the captions and graphics workspace. By the way, in the future, workspaces will be tucked over here on the right, but I'll click over here and it opens up a new panel called graphics, which is here in the captions and graphics. This new one is here. Now, what this does is it brings up the editing workspace over here, uh, which loses a bit of room. So I'm gonna go back to editing, go to the window menu, and all the way at the bottom, choose text. And there's graphics. I don't really need to edit the graphics, the actual shapes and fonts and colors and things like that. I just need to edit the text. So for me, I'll leave my editing environment, but I'll just call up the text panel. And the first thing you'll notice is every single text title, so if your, if your title is just graphics and not text, it won't show up in there, at least in this version. And if you click on them, it will take you to that title. Even better, and this, this was really well thought of. You'll notice, I'm gonna zoom in on my timeline. Zoom way in. And like I said, these titles have an animation, so they start, you can't tell what it says at the beginning of the title. There's nothing there. You can only tell what's going on part way through. Well, when you select the, the graphic here, it takes you to the middle of the title, and there's a good chance all the text you need to edit is already showing. It hasn't exited, and it's animated its entrance if there is animation. So just simply being able to use this to navigate places on your timeline and stay zoomed in is incredible. In the past, I would constantly have to zoom all the way out, find where I am, zoom all the way in, do the thing, zoom up. Burp, 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 burp. Now I'm just gonna do it over here. Okay, next up is search and replace. Now, I happen to know that I created this timeline with the correct name, but these titles were made on purpose with the wrong name. So. Obviously, I can change it right here by double clicking on it and typing it, but every one of these has the same wrong name in it. So I'm going to choose search and replace. So I'll search for Marianne and I'll replace it with Marianne. And you can see it's highlighting all of the ones that are wrong. I'll replace all. And now they're all replaced. This is a short enough video that even if I had to do it manually, I'm going to be able to do this, you know, in under two minutes and finding them. But imagine if this was a very long doc, an hour, two hours long, with a whole bunch of instances of something spelled incorrectly. All right, so search and replace anything. That's great. I want to show you back up in, in here. By the way, this gets rid of the uh, that search and replace. There's also a filter, so you can work with specific tracks. So you don't have to check your whole timeline. You can be working on just a single track. Very, very useful. Over in the right, these three little dots, 
You can also turn on uh, spell check and you can see over here, it's, it's, it's noticing that this name is wrong. We'll, we'll fix that in a second. And you can disable scrolling. So what that will do is it won't jump to that particular, if we go all the way to the end, you'll notice it hasn't jumped to that point. But if you want auto scrolling on, when it goes to that graphic and we select it, it's going to jump up in there. So depending on how you want to work, I like to have the two connected. So whether I'm clicking in the timeline or clicking over there, I'm going to jump to that point. Now, here's the spell check settings. Spell checking is on and you pick the language that you're going to spell check. And you can enter a word in the dictionary, learn the word or forget the word. So it uses the operating system dictionary. Both Mac and Windows have an installed global dictionary uh, and languages, and that's what you'll be accessing there. So let's go back up to the top, and I specifically spelt excursion wrong. I'm going to right click on it and highlight it. And here's my two uh, choices excursion, and it's updated right there. Now, Marion is right, but it's telling me these are spellings that are known, but I know it's Mary N. So I'll select Mary N, make sure I've got that space out of there, copy that. I'm gonna go back over here, back to check spellings, enter a word, paste that in, learn that word, it's disappeared, Okay, now I won't see that again. I did put in one word to see if it would if it would get missing a space in a word. That's boat ride here. Let's go check that out. Right click, Bordy, Beatrice, best ride, boat, boar ride. No, I boat I no. It didn't get that one. But at least I get notified that I have a spelling error in there, so I can change that. And there it is, it's now corrected. Tropical is wrong, tropical, there we go. So that's right. Okay, and you can see it takes a second to spell check because this is live spell checking the whole time that this, this document is, is on. Now, when I first started testing this, I knew that the graphics in a Premier Pro graphics, and that's what these are. These are our Premier Pro graphics. You can see it's a title, it's a, a shape that I made of all of these pieces. That's all made in Premiere Pro. I thought, well, that just makes sense. It's going to find the text in a graphic that I created in Premiere Pro, but it ain't gonna find the text in an After Effects Mogurt that, can, oh, yes, it will. Now, here's one peculiarity, watch up here. I don't have the After Effects titles showing, but when I turn them on, they show up and the name is, is wrong. It didn't choose that because it didn't fix a find and replace because that was hidden. So it had to be showing to be a, a find and replace. So Marion, find with Marion. Oh, look, they were still there, replace all. It's changing them in the After Effects animations. Okay, so it's After Effects, Mogerts in the timeline, Premiere Pro uh, graphics, which are animated graphics built by the Essential Graphics panel, it finds and, and changes all of them. Absolutely amazing. Um, I showed you filter tracks. Yeah, that's it. Okay, the, the, well that, <laughs> it might seem like a small one, but if you do a lot of graphics work like I do, uh, both with built-in titles or with uh, outside graphics that you drop in and you need to have these spell checked. Wow. And just being able to navigate around here. I love this, not having to zoom out. I can be zoomed all the way in and jump to any of these. So that's why this, this is uh, in the text, right? When you go here, it's text. It's the text panel, and then it's graphics in the text panel alongside the captions and transcripts 
If you haven't seen that, I'll link to that at the end and put it in the description. The caption updates have been amazing. So I'm on the beta and they this sprung out at the very last minute. So I didn't even know um, when, when this version was released that this was coming, but this is huge because spell checking, I don't know about you, but boy, oh boy, I don't want to get a call when somebody says, uh, hey, thanks for spelling my name incorrectly or the company or a brand or just a regular title. Uh, you don't want to look like a doofus uh, spelling something wrong. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more, you can do that on videorevealed.com slash shop or you can donate once, monthly, any amount. Join our team there. You can part be on the member section. There's a bunch of free stuff to download. There's uh, some split screens you can buy. Lots of great stuff. Lots of great community going on. We love all of our donors. And if you just read the comments, it's a fun, upbeat place here in Video Revealed. Thank you so much, folks, for loving us here because, boy, oh boy, it can be a dark place on the internet. But here, the sun is always shining and the spelling is always correct. <laughs>